Okay, so this is for the Damon Kyle HP and PT programs uh, in the Gross Anatomy Lab. We're going to build the suboccipital triangle with our fingers here. Uh, let's first get ourselves oriented anatomically to what we're going to be looking at here. We're going to build the left side of the body's suboccipital triangle. My right hand will be all the medial uh, structures up here, my left hand being more laterally. Uh, let's first get ourselves oriented to which finger is going to be which muscle just to start out with. So my right index finger will be rectus capitis posterior major. My left middle finger will be rectus capitis posterior minor. My right thumb will be the suboccipital nerve. My left thumb will be obliquus capitis inferior. My left index finger will be obliquus capitis superior. My left middle finger will be the tubal artery. My left ring finger will be the posterior arch of C1. So we're going to start to build a triangle now. First we'll build all the muscles that actually have participation in the triangle. So we'll start with the rectus capitis posterior major. Okay, right index finger. We're then going to come in, we're going to build in the obliquus capitis superior, your left index finger. We'll then come in and add the obliquus capitis inferior, your left thumb. So now we have the muscles that participate in the triangle. The next thing we're going to add in is rectus capitis posterior minor, which will be your right middle finger. And while it doesn't participate in the triangle itself, it sits just superior to the rectus capitis posterior major. And you'll definitely see it when you look at the triangle. So again, rectus capitis posterior minor, right middle finger, not participating in the triangle, but just superior to rectus capitis posterior major. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and bring in the vertebral artery, which will be your left middle finger. As you can see, it, it uh, spans horizontally across the subocipital triangle inside of it. It runs right uh, anterior to the, uh, excuse me, it runs right on top of the posterior arch of C1 and comes horizontally across the triangle. The next thing we'll add in is the posterior arch of C1, which is back here, just behind the vertebral artery maybe a little bit superior to it and as you can see again the vertebral artery runs across the posterior arch of C1 horizontally. And the last thing we want to add in is the subocipital nerve which comes out of the triangle. So you're going to bring your right thumb into and out of the triangle and that's your subocipital nerve coming out of the triangle to innervate more superficial musculature. So we'll build it one more time quickly. Rectus capitis posterior major obliquus capitis superior, obliquus capitis inferior, rectus capitis posterior minor, vertebral artery, posterior arch of C1 behind the vertebral artery. Again, the vertebral artery is blocking your view of the posterior arch of C1, which is actually how it's going to look in real life as well. But if when you're in the lab, you get your finger and stick it right inside the triangle, the bony structure you feel is certainly the posterior arch of C1. Then lastly, we'll bring the subocipital nerve from inside to outside the triangle to innervate the superior musculature. Again, this is the subocipital triangle on the left side of the body. Right hand medial, left hand lateral.